नमस्कार फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू आई सी ए आर आर सी एन ई एच पॉडकास्ट एंड टूडे वी आर स्टेपिंग इन टू अ मॉडर्न वे ऑफ फार्मिंग विच इज हाइड्रोपोनिक्स विच नीड्स नो सॉइल लेस वाटर एंड एंड ईल्स हायर ईल्ड एंड टू लर्न अबाउट दिस टॉपिक वी हैव डॉक्टर एम बलासली हॉर्टिकल्चर साइंटिस्ट इन आई सी ए आर रिसर्च कॉम्प्लेक्स उमिया मेघालय वेलकम डॉक्टर बलासली glad to have you with us yeah uh, thank you so much prajita and i am very glad to join you and uh, share some information about hydroponics which is a very important technology which will be helping our farmers and entrepreneurs to face many challenges of recent times so let's start with the basic ma'am many of us are hearing about hydroponics for the first time so could you simply explain what is exactly hydroponics yeah surely prajita hydroponic is a technology in which the plant are grown without the soil that means uh, in this the plant are directly grown in a mineral nutrient mixture which is made with water so here what happen the plant are getting the nutrient the required nutrient directly from the water that's really amazing ma'am hydroponic sounds really interesting and futuristic so my next question is why is hydroponic so important and what are the real benefits of it yeah uh, prajita actually like in today's time our farmers are facing many challenges like shrinkage of land resources due to urbanization and then inadequate irrigation water and uh, uh, plus uh, like uh, we have lack of resources so here hydroponics offer lots of advantages such as in this technology we don't need soil for uh, cultivation of the plants and then the nutrient can be managed at the optimum level and plus the water use can be recycled that means we are uh, reducing the loss of water and plus the pest and management become very easy and the most important we are getting quality and higher yield that's really amazing ma'am hydroponics is not just an alternative but it also seems like an efficient way to do farming so my next question is many of us might be wondering what can we actually grow in hydroponics could you please give us some examples yeah definitely prasita like uh, almost all the vegetable crops and some of the fruit crops they are uh, like suitable to grow under hydroponics like among the vegetable claw crops like uh, for leafy vegetables like lettuce and kale hydroponics is very successful and among the fruit crops strawberry is grown wonderfully inside hydroponics and other vegetable crops like your tomato then capsicum and cucumber they can also be grown successfully under the hydroponics system that's really exciting ma'am so not only vegetables but we can also grow fruits in it so my next question is what is the actual cost that one needs to put into when he has to do hydroponics in a home or something like that yeah that is a very re- relevant question prajita uh, like there are various type of hydroponics units so the cost also varies depending on the system so like the prices ranges from about 2 to 5 lakhs for establishing a basic uh, hydroponic system but if you want to go for a commercially fully automated hydroponic system the cost may rises from about 15 lakhs to even 50 lakhs so this commercial uh, hydroponic system once you establish the life span is for 5 to 6 years so for the beginners they should start with the basic hydroponic system which will be cost effective and like for example for home garden if a family needs the daily requirement an area of 100 to 200 square feet is very much sufficient for providing the family needs and uh, one can start easily with a diy which are available in the market with a cost of 5000 to 6000 and there are also like pre made kits with different uh, unit and system price ranging from 10000 to 20000 that can also be done all right ma'am that seems like a very serious investment ma'am ne- the next question is that if i invest how much production am i actually expecting yeah that is a very good question uh, actually the main advantage of hydroponics is we are getting more return per unit area because we are cultivating the crop uh, independent of the weather condition like you can get the crop throughout the year also 
uh, and uh, uh, I can cite some example like in case of lettuce. When we grow under the soil agriculture system, we are getting a yield of 9 to 10 tons. But under hydroponic system, we are getting about 300 to 400 tons per acre. And for example, in case of strawberry, instead of like 10 to 20 tons per hectare, you are getting 40 to 50 tons per hectare under hydroponic system. So we can see that there is a increase in the yield per unit area when we go for hydroponics rather than the soil agriculture system. Wow, the numbers are really amazing here. That means it can truly multiply the income in a very less area and also yield higher. Yeah, so, exactly, Prasikta. It is uh, like the modern technology is all about the sp smart management of resources like water, nutrient and land. And you are getting higher return per unit area also. I also have another question. Like, this is a high-tech uh, farming. So, it might be requiring regular daily routine so what what routine should a uh, entrepreneur should follow for this yes that is a very relevant question actually hydroponics is a very intensive form of agriculture system uh, once established the farmer has to ensure that there is a continuous supply of power and uh, their proper sanitation has been maintained like for example by using your insect yellow trap or water trap and uh, regulating uh, like regulating and keeping the humidity and temperature at the optimum level it may be either by misting or fogging and like said net and the proper ventilation should also be provided so these are some of the important thing and the other important thing is the farmer should also like ensure that the crop are getting the optimum nutrient at the optimum level yes so it's not just about installing and forgetting it requires daily observation and smart decision again after the crop is grown where can a uh, farmer actually sell this produce yes Prasikta, that is another good question actually the grow growers or the farmers they can uh, sell their uh, produce from hydro hydroponics either in the local vegetable market they aim they can aim for the organic store also or if they want to get premium price they can target hotels and restaurants so these are some of the market linkages uh, they have to uh, use for selling their products so farmers if you can grow healthy clean and chemical free crops you can also expect a greater marketing prices in the hydroponic farming so before we conclude i would last to like to ask you another question like what message would you give to our young entrepreneurs and the farmers who would like to join and do hydroponic farming yes see prasikta my advice would be if one is ready to willing to learn willing to learn the new technology then they can adopt the new agricultural technology they have to take calculated risks and hydroponics can do wonders so like the advanced and the new agriculture technology are all about innovation sustainability and resource management thank you so much ma'am for sharing such wonderful knowledge with us so if you like today's podcast Please subscribe to ICARCNEH and share this video and also follow us for more. So until next time, keep growing, keep glowing. Thank you. Thank you.